Into the box, Billy Anderson. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. Anderson. And get a good one. In now, Billy Anderson. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Right fielder, Billy Anderson. At the plate, Billy Anderson. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. It's cut off, so all three runners are in to score. Anderson. At the plate now, Billy Anderson. Well, this won't get over the second baseman's glove. Anderson. Look at your pitch here. Here we go. Here we go. Stepping in now, Billy Anderson. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. To second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Yeah, and in this game, you always try to find a way to be hopeful. They win the first game of a new month and are now looking to keep it rolling the rest of the way. Nine to seven, the final score in this ball game. They left 14 men on base. Anderson. Into the box now, Billy Anderson. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. Total agreement, Matt, in particular that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, not just for the position. Anderson. To the plate now, Billy Anderson. And he's first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. Anderson. Into the box, Billy Anderson. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. Nice recovery play to get the second out, but we'll have to make sure. So now to the plate, Billy Anderson. He'll roll over it and send it to shortstop. Reined in. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Anderson. At the plate, Billy Anderson. Liner towards second. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Hey, which is normally the case in these close ones. You have a one-run game, a 2-1 decision.
Well, he's bearing down on the major leagues, and it's it's clear to me. Nobody's going to tell me he's not going to be a star as a two-way player. Jim Callis of MLB Pipeline joins me. Jim, what do you see when you look at him, and what does this player mean for the game at large? Yeah, you know, it, 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 it's incredible. I mean, it, it's very difficult to be a two-way player at any level, you know, especially the big leagues. I mean, really, since Babe Ruth mm -hmm. and, and, and some Shohei Otani, Nobody in between really even tried to do that at a high level. Um, and this guy is making it happen in AAA. I think he's winning people over the, the yeah, this guy can actually do both at the big league level. Um, and if you if it does happen, I think you'll see more teams maybe try to do this. I mean, there is a school of thought sometimes, or it's prevailed for years, let the guy pick one or the other, because it, it's hard to do both, right, right. and let him be the best he can be at either hitting or pitching. But if this guy makes it happen, I think you're going to more teams you're going to have him say, I want a guy like that one. You know, especially because it's like, you know, two players in one on your big league roster. A manager confronts his club about an unacceptable team statistic. Bouncer up the middle, fielded cleanly, and a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. Batting second. Standing in now, Jose Devers. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Hey, we got one. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters, it's one and one. Here it comes. A ball and two strikes. Hey, great job by the offense right here to put a number up on the board and allow this young gun to go out on the mound, relax a little bit, and establish that good fastball. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The batter will be J.J. Bleday. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. 264 is average entering play, seven homers, and 29 driven in into the corner and slicing foul stays alive still 0 and 2 lucky he got a piece right there he was definitely late on that pitch a swing and a miss that retires the side Anderson. stepping in now Billy Anderson swing and a liner uh, this gets foul it's 0 and 1. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Alexander rounds the corner and is headed home. The tag, and he's in there. And they now lead by two. In now, Ken Anderley. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. The average hits at a cool 3.05 entering play three homers and 31 RBIs. 
two quick strikes and now the 0 2. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes but it misses one and two. Neither guy willing to give in and the at bat will continue. And this will be lined into center field and they've got themselves their first hit of the ball game. To the plate now, Lewin Diaz. As he'll go the after the first base. pitch and bounce it into foul territory. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. At the plate now, Samuel Guzman. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. On the ground to second base, this could be two. Sanchez is up with it, and that's the second out. So now to the plate, Davy Grion. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. And now he'll foul this one off as well to fall behind here. No balls and two strikes. Got him swinging. At the plate, Cameron Meisner. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. The average not quite where he wants it, down in the 220s. One home run, and he's driven in 24. Grimes comes on now, and he has it one down. Stepping in now, Antonio Cosmo. Take a look at his strike on the outside corner. It's 0-1. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. The offense better get it going right here because they. And that is off the first base bag. And they'll recover to tag the batter out. My goodness, what a weird play. Into the box now, Rod Mulder. Second baseman. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And he misses with it 1 and 1. A ball and two strikes now. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding this. Uh, we'll have to press pause. Is Anderson. To the plate now, Billy Anderson. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Long throw to the plate. But this won't be in time as he's well safe in the run score. At the plate now, Jose Devers hit down the line at first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Standing in now, J.J. Bladé. Slow roller down the third baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. The wind up and the 0-1. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Fouled off. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. In now, Ken Anderley. As he lifts it in the air to right field. He's under it, and that ends the inning. At the plate, Lewin Diaz. A little bouncer. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. That's taken. Now it's 0 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Got him to go down swinging there. Lewin Diaz is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Swung on but fouled off to the left. The next 0 2. He's going to find out quickly. Guys are even more selective up here in Triple A. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. And he looks at a sinker for a called third strike, and now there are two gone. Now batting. Into the box now, Davey Grion. 
As with two away, he'll swing and miss it a first pitch fastball for strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Oh, good knuckle curve 0 and 2. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of. So now to the plate, Billy Anderson. And now the second pitch of the inning is in the air to right. Lede is over to his right as he puts this one away, two down. Stepping in now, Cameron Meisner. So he'll take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Hey, this guy hasn't reached the big leagues yet, but he's coming. You're going to know his name at some point. He just got a few more developmental things to work on. Here comes the one two. On the ground to the left side. Scooped up. And there's one away. Ferrar Encarnacion will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. First pitch of the A.B. now. Popped him up. Alexander shading to his right. Two down. At the plate now, Rod Mulder, as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. 0 for 2 at this point. A little swing, and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. Left side, reined in. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. Standing in now, Jose Devers. Weak rounder back to the mound. Throw on to first, in time, one away. Into the box, J.J. Blade. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Well, he got the leadoff guy inning on a ground out. And now he's 0 2 to start this at bat. He looks really sharp so far to start the seventh. Pearson will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. In now, Ken Anderley. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0 1. He's one for two in this one. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Anderson. Into the box now, Billy Anderson. And he's first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. Stepping in now, Lewin Diaz. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Owen oh 2 count, here's the pitch. Slow little grounder left side. He's got it. And that's the first out. So now to the plate, Samuel Guzman. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. The wind up and the 0 1. Big swing at the knuckle curve gets nothing but air. 0 and 2 now. And he struck him out. The 10th victim set down on strikes thus far. At the plate, Davey Grion. As he'll go after a hard sinker that time and falls behind nothing and one. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull a trigger a little bit earlier in the count. Lofted in the air out toward right center, and that'll get down for a base hit. To the plate now, Cameron Meisner. And he's first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. Bryson Brigman will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. First offering. And he swings right over the top of this one, nothing and one. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Tapped out in front of home. 
And the inning will end as they're unable to. Mulder. Into the box, Rod Mulder. As he'll take a look at ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. Uh, you could tell this guy's got great feel for all this stuff right now. To break out that nasty hammer right there, this guy's on point. Off balance throw, but he couldn't get enough on it, so it'll be scored as an infield single. Jose Devers is at the Not plate as he stop. takes a cold strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that. It seemed like everyone had a hand in this win, and that's usually the Our case when you win a game by eight runs. Feels good to dominate a game like that. Ten to two, the final in this game. The Gwinnett Stripers jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Billy Anderson earns his first win of the season, picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. Anderson. Standing in now, Billy Anderson, but gloved by the third baseman for the out. At the plate now, now Billy plate Anderson. Billy Anderson. Yes, he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Hit hard on the ground to third. Fielded cleanly. Throw gets him. Two down. Now back. Right fielder. Billy. Into the box Anderson. now. Billy Anderson. And a pitch out. Nothing doing though, and that's ball one. The 1-0. Grounded to third. This could be two. He's right there to second for one. On to first as they. Now batting. Right fielder. Billy Anderson. Stepping in now. Billy Anderson. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. 0 oh, and 1 delivery. Hit out towards second. Reined in. Throw gets him. Two down. Now back. Right through. Billy Anderson. So now to the plate. Billy Anderson. Liner towards second. A dive and he knocks it down. And a good effort here, but he's well seen. Yeah, and that's just a punch to the gut of the home fans as they watch their team fall behind at the top of the night.
as he bears down on the major leagues, it's becoming more and more clear that he could be a major star as a two-way player. Jonathan Mayo of MLB Pipeline is with Ian. Jonathan, when he was drafted, there was a lot of talk that he was picked too high. It's looking like he was maybe undervalued at this point. Uh, I At the plate, Billy Anderson. Line shot to second, but it's caught, and the... Anderson. Into the box, Billy Anderson. Now he turns and smokes this one into deep center field. Bird is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Standing in now, Billy now Anderson. Billy Here's a fly Anderson. ball, well hit. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one out double. Now batting, right fielder, Billy Anderson. At the plate now, Billy Anderson. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. Now the 1 0. And now a ball lifted into the air out towards center field. Bird is under it and he makes the catch. 5 2, the final score tonight. The Stripers rode an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Aaron Leisher gets the win in relief, his sixth of the season. Ready now is Jose Devers, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Jose. Underway now in the weekend finale as the first pitch is looked at for strike one. There's the knuckle curve laid off one and one. Wow, only the second pitch of the game tonight, and that's called a ball. This looks like it could be very good for the hitters tonight. Temperature here at game time, a comfortable 75 degrees tonight. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. And he falls behind 0 and 2. And he fouls this one off. Now another 0 2. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curve there, and that's out number two. The batter will be J.J. Blade as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Comes into play here at 273. Nine homers and 33 driven in. Alexander has a play, and the inning is over. Anderley. In now, Ken Anderley. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. And he'll put this one away for the first out of the inning. Stepping in now, Lewin Diaz. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. Batting average down in the low 210s. Six home runs, 27 driven in. Green is there now, and he has it, two gone. To the plate now, Samuel Guzman. As he'll come up empty that time on a sinker, it's strike one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. 
hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. There seem to be different philosophies on it. So, Dan, what was your approach? And the second baseman is there to make the play, and that ends the inning. At the plate, Davey Grillon. As he'll take strike one on the inside corner. He's got that average up over 340 now. Six home runs, 26 RBIs. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Lifted in the air out to left field. I got it, I got it. Pearson has him played perfectly as he puts it away for out number one. Into the box now, Bryson Brigman. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. Grounder down the line at third. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. So now to the plate, Cody Poti. Strike one to start the at bat. This one's flared off to the right side. Sanchez is there, and the side is. Anderson. Into the box, Billy Anderson. As he'll ground this one fouled off to the left side. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-1-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And that will stepping in now Jose Devers fouled away. He's 0 for 1 thus far into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1 swinging a blooper to the right side. Sanchez backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. At the plate now, Cameron Meisner. And that misses for ball one. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. To the plate now, J.J. Bladé. As he'll send the first one he sees on the ground to second. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Anderley. In now, Ken Anderley. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. A wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0 and 2. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through 4, 5, and 6 right here. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Hit on the ground out to short. He's got it. And quickly, there are two away. So now to the plate, Samuel Guzman. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Flew out in his only at bat so far. And it's quickly 0 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is. And the throw is in time to get him to retire. Anderson. Standing in now, Billy Anderson. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. A swing and a ground ball to third. And there's one down now. At the plate, Davey Grillon. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now. 0 and 2. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. He throws him on the fastball there. Davey Grillon is retired to kick off the inning. Bryson Brigman will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. 
That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here. And there are two away. Into the box now. Cody Poti. No balls and a strike to count. Good hard sinker that time. And he's in control 0-2. This pitcher looks like he has a chance to have it. And he struck him out. So it might be. Stepping in now, Jose Devers. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. And that is going to be their first hit of the ball game as this is into left field for a solid single. In now Cameron Meisner. Now a bunt attempt here. Throw is too late so the sacrifice attempt turns into a base hit. At the plate now J.J. Bladé as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. Over to second a double play but they won't get play as he's safe at first. So now to the plate, Ken Anderle. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. No hits to this point. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. This pitch is popped up. Sanchez over to his right. And that will end the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, Now batting the pitcher Billy Anderson into the box Billy Anderson line drive and that's a base hit in you long throw home and they're not going to get him he's in there at the plate standing in now Lewin Diaz as he lines it hard to the right side but out of play Oh, for two for him to this point. Again, another foul ball. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. Rounded softly down the line toward first. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Hey, have an AB right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Lewin Diaz becomes the first out of the inning. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Hey, it's a game of execution. If the pitcher stays right there, this lineup's going to continue to have a tough time. And there are two away now. Into the box now, Davey Grion. As he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Right there, and it's quickly 0 2 now. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strike. In now, Bryson Brigman. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Sinker, and this one's over as well. Nothing in two now. Two well executed pitches at the knees right there, but I know this hitter's looking for something up. Hit to third. Scooped up. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Rod Mulder will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He'll start this one at 274. No home runs as of yet, and a pair of RBIs. And the pinch hitter will not be able to advance the cause, and there are two away now. Lifted down the line and left. He's working on a one for three thus far. And this will be fouled away. One strike from a shutout. Here it comes. And 
and he gets strike three called to end it here, and with that, this one is over. Yeah, they could only manage two hits against him the entire game, so they were never really in a position to oh, even challenge him. Rocks. It's tempting with any exciting young pitching prospect to start dreaming on his major league future, comparing him to established stars and aces at the major league level. We shouldn't do it, but we do, because it's fun. You know, Sean Casey's with me right now. Case, you're seeing this guy pitch. He is absolutely dazzling. What's his world like right now? What are you seeing from him? Ben, you're right. It is fun. It is fun when you get a guy like this that you know is on a different level. You know his fastball is at a different level. His curveball, you know, the spin rate's a lot different. You know, every his secondary pitches are, are, are all electric. So, you know, for a guy like me that's watching a guy like this, I, you know, it, it just it, it reminds you of some of the best players in the game, and you know he's going to be a superstar. Now, on your road to the major leagues, you came across some rising pitching stars as well. What's it like as a prospect facing down guys who are later going to become major league aces? Well, I'll never, I'll never forget my first year in the minor leagues. Um, we went into Williamsport, PA, to play the Cubs, and there was a young prospect named Kerry Wood, and I'm like, <laughs> wow, is this different? I mean, he was throwing 100 miles an hour. with I'd never seen 100 in my life, so that was the first time I ever seen 100. And he was throwing a 12-6 curveball that I'd never seen before, right? And I just remember looking at him going, this is so different. And... Stepping in now, Billy Anderson, as he lines it out to center. That gets down, and the inning continues. Anderson. Hey, let it fly, let it fly. At the plate, Billy Anderson swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. One for one with a single so far. The 0 1 on its way. Smoke toward third. He's right there. On to second for the force out in the second. Anderson. So now to the plate, Billy Anderson. He swings and lines it to left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And not in time as the run scores. Now that standing in now. Billy Anderson. Anderson and a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame hit out towards second reined in and eight innings have come and gone now is tonight's game comes to an end five to one the final score the Norfolk Tides jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back Tom Eshelman earns win number seven on the season Anderson to the plate now Billy Anderson he swings and sends it in the air to right center field Cespedes is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat Anderson. back 
Into the box, Billy Anderson lifted in the air out towards left center. Center fielder giving chase. It gets down, and that'll be extra bases on their first hit of the game. And he'll reach second now with one away. Into the box now, Billy Anderson. Skied into straightaway right. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. Anderson. At the plate, Billy Anderson. And he puts it on the ground to second. Oh, and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head. Fortunately, the catcher's there to back things up. Anderson. In now, Billy Anderson. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. Stowers is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Tonight's ball game comes to a close, three to one, the final. Norfolk. Carlos, you played in AAA on your way to the majors, and I got to think, as a fan, it's got to be so exciting being right on the doorstep, knowing that one big performance could elevate you to the show. Now, ben, you're absolutely right. You know that you are just a step below the major leagues and that if you perform, mm -hmm. you will get the call, but that could add pressure to you. So you have to be very careful oh, as sure. a player, and you have to keep your emotions in check and still think about the process and not get too far ahead of yourself. That, that was one right. of the keys for me. Just stay in the present. Everything else will take care of itself.
Standing in now, Billy Anderson. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Cespedes gets under it and makes the catch. Anderson.
to the plate now Billy Anderson swing and a liner Pereira is going to get there as he backs up to put it away and there are two gone now Anderson. into the box Billy Anderson down the left field line and deep and a big sigh of relief on the mound is that nearly tied it but this ball is foul he's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far he's got it and the throw to first is in time so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven Anderson. at the plate now Billy Anderson as he'll swing and lift a fly ball to right center he brings it in and they have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over a four to one finish in this evening's game the Tides took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end D.L. Hall earns the win his second as he finishes seven innings with only two hits allowed. Into the box, Julio Pereira. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Slow roller, left side. Oh, and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head. And lucky for them, the right fielder's there to back up the throw. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. So now to the plate, Adam Hall. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. Swing and a miss, one and one. There's a fastball called for a strike on the inside corner. And the knuckle curved that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. Into the box now, Domingo Marquez. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Grounded softly to the right. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the second out. But meanwhile, the run is in to score. Next to bat is Tristan Casas. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He'll try and start things over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground ball. Strike three called as he can't get the bat. Adley Rutschman digging in now. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. A little quick on the swing, and he finds himself behind two. Another two count and the pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. In now, Ty Azapardi, as he'll take a look at an it misses for ball one. Well, right back at him, and it hit him. Wants to recover, and let's hope he's okay out there. Standing in now, Claudio Lopez. As the first pitch to him is strike one. And he's now it's strike two. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Into the box, Devon Castillo. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there, it's strike one. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0 and 2. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. At the plate, Dan Navarro, as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He'll enter play here at an even 250. One home run, 18 driven in. And another foul ball. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. Good pitch, and I think he locked him up, but he wasn't rewarded for it this time. And a swing and a miss as he picks up yet another strikeout. Six of them already, and there's one gone in the inning. So now to the plate, Julio Pereira. 0-1 the count. And it's fouled away. Softly hit to short. Barehanded at his knees. He's out. Man.
at the plate now Adam Hall as he will line this one into right center and this is going to get down and should be extra bases digging hard he's headed for third and he is in to third with a two out triple in now Domingo Marquez as he puts it on the ground to third and they'll escape danger here after the two out triple. Standing in now, Tristan Casas popped him up. Cooley is under it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Into the box, Adley Richmond. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home fourth. To the plate now. Ty Azuparty. A shot to first base and caught there to end the end. Lopez. At the plate, Claudio Lopez. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Grimes is camped under this one. And very quickly, one gone. Into the box now, Devon Castillo. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. Comes into this at bat, 0 for 1 in the ball game. Sinker on the inside, and that's a strike. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Devon Castillo becomes out number two this inning. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Two and one after the foul ball there. Fouled off. Third foul ball in a row, and this is turning into a pretty good at bat. The 2 2. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an air. In now, Julio Pereira. As he'll go after a hard sinker that time and falls behind nothing in one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of the spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. So now to the plate, Adam Hall. And there's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out, nothing in one. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. And he falls behind 0-2. Now a swing and a fly ball. Long run for the right fielder. And no one will track it down. On the ground to third. Throw on to first. Two gone. Marquez. Standing in now. Domingo Marquez. As he will swing and miss on a fastball on the outer half. It's strike one. No hits to this point. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Late swing on that curveball right there to run the count 0-2. Don't think he recognized that one too well. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch. At the plate now, Tristan Casas. He swings and grounds it to short. Right to him. And quickly there's one down to lead off the frame. Stepping in now, Adley Rutschman. Now he offers at it and hits it in the air to left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Into the box now, Ty has a party. Little chopper back to the mound. On to first, and they don't come any easier than that. Jacob Webb is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the... Wow, that game flew by, but that's what happens when you get a well-pitched one-run game. 
both hurlers battle, and it's almost a shame somebody had to lose this one. And that one run held up tonight, one nothing the final. The Tides jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Connor Green takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. Billy Anderson to settle with the loss after giving up only one earned. At the plate, Billy Anderson, as he grounds one briskly to short, fielded cleanly. Only play is going to be at first, so that'll go as an RBI that brings home the opening mark. So now to the plate, Billy Anderson. And that one yanked just foul. 0 for 1. One with a run batted in thus far. The 0 1 on its way. And a pitch out. Nothing doing though, and that's ball one. Grimes leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Runner from first crosses the plate. It's a 2 0 ball game. Anderson. To the plate now, Billy Anderson. Swing and a ball pulled hard down the line in left. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And they'll get the ball back in quickly, holding him to a single. Anderson. Into the box, Billy Anderson, high in the air down the right field line. Cespedes is there, one away. Now that designated hitter, Billy. Anderson. At the plate now, Billy Anderson. He swings and grounds it to short. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Yeah, this might not have been what he expected. I'm not sure he expected to have to go seven. Player is challenged to raise the bar defensively. Stepping in now, Billy Anderson. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Center fielder on the run. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and head for third. 
And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. At the plate, Billy Anderson. He swings and sends a bullet to right field, but he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. Anderson. Into the box now, Billy Anderson. Line drive, base hit into the left center field gap. Anderson. In now, Billy Anderson, but pulled in at the hot corner, and that. Anderson. So now to the plate, Billy Anderson. Now a line drive, and that may be enough to break our tie. That's down for extra bases. As he arrives at second without a play, as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Hey, it took them an extra frame to do it, but hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in our 10 innings. Line. This evening's game comes. Well, if you've listened to the podcast before, you know that I'm all in on this guy, this two-way player. Some people doubt him. I don't. I really think this can work, and he's starting to show it at AAA, really knocking on the door of the major leagues. And who better to talk about the major leagues than John Paul Morosi of MLB Network, who joins the pod today. JP, thank you so much for being here. What are you thinking about the future of this two-way prospect? Well, Ben, first, I have to say that if he goes on to become an all-star, I'm going to say I heard about him first on your podcast, my <laughs> friend. I've been listening to it faithfully. Whatever I know about this player initially came from you. So thank you for turning me on to this incredible idea. And now I've been following a little more closely. I follow the box scores. I'm checking the numbers. I'm talking to my sources and my scouts. And they're all telling me, hey, this could actually work. They're seeing enough development from him at the minor league level that they believe he could make an impact as a hitter and a pitcher in the major league. So, Ben, this is this is your guy. He's going to do it. He is going to be a major league player at both areas, I think. And now the question will be, how far can he take it? Is this going to be an all-star player? Can he change the game? All of these things are possible, and that's why I love the minor leagues so much, because we get stories like this that inspire the imagination.